Remote bombs and wind. You can use wind. All right, back in Kakarinko Village. Um, it's not raining anymore. Oh, hey, this goes higher. Oh, it just goes into like a forest area. Yeah. Okay. They trying to do that? You're not Hetsu, but you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hetsu, please return this to him. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. That other chicken is. Are you Hatsu? No. A great fairy fountain somewhere near this village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. Set aside, they also say the place can bestow some kind of mysterious power on people. However, since I'm an outsider, I can't get anyone to tell me any more details than that. These villagers never leave the safety of their village, so travelers like me are treated with suspicion. But I won't give up. Oh, and if I manage to find out anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Thanks, you can go. Kaya. Dorian. Yes, I know. We're missing one Kuko. I don't know where it's at. You know who might know where it's at? Zelda Dungeon. So we're gonna look it up. Because I don't know. For the while. Where are the side quests? All side quests. Region am I in? I am in West. No, that's not. I don't know. Do 
Twin Peaks, maybe? Hello in the coop. There we are. There is one on the house. Okay. I'm not crazy. Alright, I gotta get on that house. Yes, it is this one. There with the uh brain. Oh no. No, it's not this one. It is where the other house is. It is a house that's got one of these next to it that leads down to a little shack. Maybe it's up there? No. It's on his house, right? No, it's on the house. Patty Corner. It's this one. Can't climb that way. I think I can climb on the roof that way either. I'll have to jump. But I don't know if I can even get up there that way. I might be able to do it from here. Oops. No, not the... I would like to jump. find pumpkin, you'll get in trouble if you take it without permission. Come back when the owner is here. Oh. I'll have to hire, find a higher vantage point. Got it done. Now we gotta wait for that man to come back though. Let's go into this shop over here, see what they've got. I don't have very many rupees, so it's not like I can buy anything. If I can not climb on it and instead, you know, go inside like a normal person. I can't remember the last time we had a customer in here. Young folks in this village don't have much use for a bow. It's a thrill to see a young lad like you come into the shop. Well, don't mind me. Take your time looking around. I want to sell. 
I can sell food items. Fire arrows. Regular arrows. But I don't need arrows. Carrots. Nope, carrot shop guy's not here. That's the inn. That's the clothes shop. I definitely don't have enough money for clothes, but we can see what she's got. Oh, the chic eye armor. Helian tunic. Disappointment movement. Alien trousers. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. By the way, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. But it offers very little defense. Small price for the extra stealth. Yeah, but it's very expensive. I would like to find a Kuko guy, but I don't think he's going to show back up anytime soon. That's the little kid's house. PCs come back. Let's continue on with our quest. Nope. Nothing on that one. Just checking. Oh, yikes. I'm sorry. I was having such a beautiful daydream. I was completely zoned out. Thinking about rupees and sapphires. Those two gems can be sold at really high prices. They're some of the best gems to sell for serious money. Sorry, I just get so carried away when it comes to gems. Hey, a frog. Are you much of a mountain climber? Selling a few things I picked up on the travels. I'll take a look. Oh. Beetle, bass, shroom. Nope. Oh. Magnesis. Let's try that again. Okay. 
Sphinx? Man, this trail really takes you out here. I should have brought my horse. Can I whistle for it? No? I guess I didn't tame it, or whatever. Oh, hey. It's a, it's a big Korok guy. Oh, it's Hetsu. I can see you. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hetsu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them. So please, please get my maracas back from them. Yeah, sure, I'll get your maracas. Guys are tearing me apart. Weapon broke. Um, I still in the very beginning, so I just got through Kakariko Village, so I'm just doing the story stuff right now. Oh, gonna die. Guessing his maracas are in there. Right now, I'm just trying to get to the point in the game where it actually opens up. Um, the first beast I'll probably head to is gonna be the wind one, because I think Revali's ability is the useful for mobility. There's something wrong with my rockas. The Korok and seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. Yes, I have the DLC. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion, so let me know if you find some Korok seeds. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks, Shoko. Sniff, but wait. You have a Korok seed? You do. You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. So which stash do you want? Um, let's take the weapon stash.
Uh, let's take a bigger bow stash. Because I think that's really tight. Alright, now I can carry one extra bow. Korok Forest. Oh, I am... that's not where I need to go. Where is this telling me? Where is this telling me to go? All the way over here? map is huge. Hyrule herb. This healthy herb grows abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. Amaranth, a tough medicinal plant, cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. Its durable yet flexible fibers raise your defense when cooked into a dish. Oh, there's more ore on the side of this mountain. I should pay better attention to that. Also, mushrooms. Topaz. This precious yellow gem contains the power of electricity. The nightshade. I can tell you've trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? I'll pass. What? You're refusing? Why don't you at least hear what I've got to say first? The Yiga clan, it's... A powerful brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero thought long dead. I will take your life. I would prefer if you did not do that. Oops. Nope. There we are. Vicious Sickle. A grim weapon favored by the Yiga. The half moon shape of the blade allows for rapid delivery of fatal wounds and serves as a symbol of terror. Its durability is low. Mighty bananas and a rupee. Oh, six rupees. Tame villages to the east. If you have the map, look at it as you travel. Maybe I can break it? Nope, not that one. Nope. Just a rock.
horses. I'm gonna go catch a horse. Oh, there's a shrine nearby. I should go to that shrine. Hi. Have you already been to the Spring of Wisdom? It's known that Princess Zelda visited the spring in prayer. I have a great deal of love and respect for her. Okay. I, I get it. Sneak up on the horses. Here we are. There's a lot of guardians here. I better be careful. Because one of them might decide to come to life. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse-related. We also double as an inn. Huh? I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? I don't. Oh. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us, then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. Looking like Carvel. Okay, thanks, I guess. One person can board up to five horses, and you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know do you know how to catch a wild horse? I know how. Oh, pardon me. Let me start over. Hi. Welcome to our stable. If you've come with a wild horse, you can register it here with us. Alright, I'm gonna register my horse, unless it's more than huh? 60 rupees. Twenty rupees. We'll do it. Just so we can have a horse. Let's do a uh a uh cliche horse name. Butterscotch. Where's the... Oh, no. We're just calling you Butter. Take horse. Good. But if your horse isn't magic, it can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep that in mind. There are magic horses? Okay, we got spikes. Spikes aren't a problem for me. I can just climb up. Nope. Hmm. Can't do it there. So I guess we just uh we just jump in. Perfect guard. When equipped to 